Hello and welcome back to Tetra Football and today we are doing a striker tier list for the teams remaining in the round of 16 for the Champions League. First up we have Gonzalo Ramos. Joe, do you want to start us off with him? Yep, uh, Benfica striker Ramos, she's against um, Bruges on Tuesday. I'll tell you what, that game against Switzerland in the World Cup, that's the only time really that I've seen him. And clinical finishing for a youngster, he's what, 21, 22? Yeah, I think so. And uh, to be fair, um, I have seen that he's put up some really good stats. So I think he's nothing special. He could be pretty good, but for now, I think he's just I mean, good. He Maybe does, he even does have there. quite a few over the top celebrations mm. after the game. Yeah, so but, um, you, I, he's a good player. He's, he's a good player. player. Green for improvement, but he's yeah, a, I, I think he just yeah. goes in good, to good. be honest. I think we can. Yeah, yeah I, think think well, I, think, I think good. And right. next up, then, Roman Yaramchuk of Club Bruges. Good. Now, I honestly like. Joe's said that he's had a good Euros, which he might did. sway me just slightly. However, he's never really done anything in any of the bigger leagues for like a striker. I think he's almost 30 now. Well, actually not that old. That's a bit rude to him. I think <laughs> he, he's more in the prime of his career and he's never really got a big move, never proved himself in any of like the top five leagues. And although he did have a good Euros, he just hasn't done much else than that for me in his whole career. So yeah. I'd just put him in there. Yeah, he worked in um Ukraine system quite well. Um, scored a couple of goals, like I say, at the Euros. But other than that, uh, his actual club career has basically been in leagues which are... Leeds. Leagues, uh, which are just are, a bit easier. Yeah, which yeah, are, are easier, easier to, so to meh, score we, in. Any, any, any disagreements to that? I think we could put uh, him in the, the meh team. Yeah, so Tom's agreed. Uh, Ryan um, isn't even. Yeah, Ryan's yeah, agreed. Just put a thumbs up. up. All oh, right, yeah, Kai Havertz then. Uh, oh, Chelsea v Dortmund also Tuesday. Kai Havertz, uh, the one player who's not even a striker, pretty much at all on this list. I mean, whenever I've seen him play up front for Chelsea, he's missed at least two big chances a game, and honestly, he's just like I think he's a really good player. He just cannot play up front at all, at least not without a strike partner. So mm. for me, he goes into awful, maybe poor. Like he, he's just not a striker. I do oh, think I have it. Oh, I think I think he has to be or good because I, I he's, he's good not player, a striker, but... so we can't rate him really on that. Well, so we have to say we're about rating the strikers, no, though. No, we're yeah. rating them as footballers. I don't care. No, we're rating them as strikers. No, we're rating no. the strikers. So you he's could them there. It's a striker tier list. You probably dock uh, Mbappe is in brownie points yeah. as well if, Doc if Mbappe the case. but yeah, at the same time Doc Harry Kane he plays as a CDM the difference CDM. with Mbappe no. only when he plays as a the, captain the difference only with when Mbappe he plays as a captain when yeah, he, because he's got to go back and fucking when, talk to them hasn't when, he? when he plays <laughs> Yeah, As a striker out. in Mbappe, he still scores well, goals. But Havertz, he's yeah, just yeah. not scoring. Yeah. Havertz so, is not suited to the position. For me, that is true. For me, oh, I, I think, I think he's poor or awful. I'll probably go with Mbappe. Good or bad? I'd agree. Good. I'd agree on Mbappe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have to put him in poor yeah. if we're meeting somewhere. Poor, to be honest. Oh yes, I agree. Good. Man. Are we really no. giving him all right no, anyway? Okay. Next up, then, Sebastian Haller, uh, yep. miracle Dortmund. recovery from the cancer he had, scored obviously. On, scored on World Cup today. Fun I'll fact, have from, you know. fun fact from Ryan. Uh, fun fact. I think, fun fact, <laughs> not everything is an insult. Uh, I do think that he's a pretty good striker. Uh, he had a very good season with Ajax, but before that, he kind of flopped at West Ham. But then before that, he was also good at Frankfurt, so it's up and down in his career, really. but Whenever he plays for Dortmund now, he seems to have a pretty good game. Dortmund on really good form as well. I'd say he's a good striker. Nothing better than that. But well, you like to say to be honest, I mean, it's even. hard to replace Haaland, isn't it, as a striker at Dortmund? That is a a, yeah. a big position to fill. But at the same time, I thought he was bad. Haven't got to that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're not there yet. Uh, but at the same time. He is, um, you know, he hasn't had the best of careers. Like you say, he flopped West at West Ham, for example. But, oh, yeah. but everywhere um, else he's been, he's done pretty well. But, yeah, and, and to, to oh. battle with external factors at the same time is is pretty miraculous. So, I'm so saying, what would you do? I'm saying good. Uh, oh, good. Joe seems yeah. to be agreed. I'll go good. Yeah. good. Tom as well. Yeah, we're going well, good for that. I'll give him good. He scored on World Cup today. And yeah, that's, that's really yeah. important. Well, to next me. up then, Harry Kane of Tottenham. We've got a Tottenham fan here. And I'll just say first that I think he's excellent. Oh, he's, he's quite... He's probably like getting close to God, but I think for now he's excellent. Wow. Maybe if maybe if he's at the point where he's set the records, I'd give him God. But for now, I think he's. Are you getting? He's got any okay, We're talking in this this Champions League remaining. Um, and let's face it, any of these teams would take Harry Kane. 
like no doubt about it. I don't it. think Club Bruges would. You would couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they would if if uh, <laughs> he was going out for free. Um, because for yes, free. you're comparing him to Rooney and Shearer. You're comparing him to players which aren't on this list. They're legends. Rooney. And if he already is a legend, then I think that's definitely warranting a god tier. But Mbappe's already being compared to legends. He's oh yeah, 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 easily. Yeah. Mbappe's got tier like easily. Uh, Benzema I, as well, I'd say, is, but I think all three of those probably could have gone got to. I think Kane, I think is Kane fits level. into it. I feel like there's a bit of just the normal English hype run. Like he's still incredible, mm. but he's not mm. like the very best. He's so he definitely, definitely could be good. So good, it could be good. So good. <laughs> I, I'd give him excellent. I think very close. And to we me had good. already already all agreed on excellent. <laughs> I mean, I think he could be very recording. good. It's so. just I think I'm putting him in excellent. What are we saying? I think I'm gonna say God tier. Oh, you just changed your mind. Joe has convinced me. We're on a TV two right now. Let's discuss this first. Okay, I'll say very good then. I'll say a step above God. Wait, he is. I think God. excellent because what I'll say before is there's other strikers on this list I'm more scared to play against when Kane. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd so be, that's why right he's now not got. Mbappe and Benzema are better strikers, 100. percent And we and can't, can't, Jiri, can't, Jiri just, can't, we can't just chuck any old incredible striker in it in like God tier. So any old incredible, he's not any old incredible striker, is he? he Let's is, face uh, it, he's yeah. the greatest English striker of all time. Well, we're forgetting Glenn Murray, but. <laughs> then Murray. Maybe anyway, Marshall. Just leave it there. Getting done the world, <laughs> Put him in X and then leave it there. Alright, for now we're no, gonna go. Giroud, you, guys, you, very you guys You guys put him up very high before we messed up the recording. Uh, I didn't before quite agree with it. He had a very recording. good World Cup, but I haven't heard him do anything of note at AC Milan so far. So yeah. he's um I mean Milan it's not his problem, I don't blame um Giroud at all for what's going on at Milan, to be honest. I think that they're Defence is absolutely poor. Like other than Hernandez, what have they got there? I don't rate Diaz. I don't really rate Liao either. The midfield is too reliant on young people. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, don't I'm rate Liao. That, that, that would be worry. something to talk about in another video. But what I'm saying is, Juru, as a striker, you can't blame him for what's going on. Like, yes, he's 36 I'm, years old, feel, but he's still bloody like, good. You guys are swayed me a bit. I don't think he's quite like excellent, like you guys were trying to say before, but I'd give him... Good or very good? I'd go very fair. good. I'd I'll go at least very good, Ryan. Yeah. Oh, I'll go excellent. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I, I'm I going very good. He's on the same level as Harry Kane. Gets a lot of unnecessary If you look at the strikers we put. But I, I think, think that, no, I think the World Cup proved how mm. good of a footballer he truly Jura is. is. You put him in a good team and he yeah. is absolutely lethal. Exactly. All I'm thing. saying is looking at the tier list, I'd say um, he's just a good striker. When you look at the strikers we put in George, good, he is better than them. But you're so trying to play by a rule book. There's no rule He's the highest scoring uh, French player yeah. of all time. For now, it? until Mbappe catches him. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. I think... Bayern Munich, Eric Chupomoting. <laughs> okay, we'll just stick in there. Can't yeah. just move on from a god yeah, we like can. that. All right, Eric Maxim Chupomoting, let's go. Uh, he can't help his sexy. He's Not actually him. managed to turn his career around quite a bit at Maybe Bayern so. Munich. Mm. Um, he's all right. Uh, nothing special. Oh, good or meh for me. But really. he can do it on a weenie night in Stoke. So. Here's the question, though. But he's got a dodgy haircut, so <laughs> dodgy haircut. I have to say he's meh. Meh. Um, let's, let's be honest. He's though, Bayern good. Munich right now probably are the most dangerous team in the Champions League left. They've done yeah. away with PSG at PSG's. Yeah, so they have you not seen? They do Tottenham before. Tottenham or Chelsea or they something like before. that. <laughs> the English teams lost all their games. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it's okay. Uh, okay, should we go good? Uh, yeah, it will, yeah, we'll give them. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, right, next yeah. up, Ben, Kylian uh, Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe uh, yeah, simple as that, really. Grace playing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, next even up, close. Uh, because we can only film this in 10 minute sections, mm. I'm going to say we pause it now and we'll yeah. film the next section starting at Harlem. So it's a little controversial in Among Us. And if I'm Mbappe, so, uh, yeah, we just stop there. See you in a minute. There we go. All right, we're back. Uh, Erling Haaland now. We're going to have to close that tab. No. Anyway, Erling Haaland now, for me, he's oh, been putting tab. up numbers on the level of Mbappe, so yeah. I'd personally put him in God tier. Yeah, thank He's good. just the most effective striker yeah. in the world. Yeah. Like, he there are better players on this list, but he's the most effective striker, and he scores goals. He's got the stats to prove and it. Apparently, and apparently, I'm going to have to yeah. stop you there. I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. Um, yeah, Harlem, but I, I think he, he's I've, I'll give credit to him he has done a lot of what he's been given um, but that's the key yeah. it's what he's been given right because what let's is he look gonna, at it what is he going to do uh, he's Hank, been given. Hank he's been gifted around. Thing. What do you want by, him to do? Just not score. Man just pick up the ball. Sorry, too Man City's easy. players are absolutely incredible. Right? So I'm not they are all absolutely. Hang on, let me talk. I'll let you talk. 
Yeah. His numbers are incredible, and the players that surround him are absolutely incredible. See him at Stoke, I don't think he'd be very good. In all honesty, I think he is... Actually, Stoke like a ball into the box. So, I think be pretty he has got so much Let going on. He's, he's got, he's got the, the heading ability, he's got the uh, the fat ability, the ability to tap in goals are going... Let's you know what? Know. This is why he's on the debate team. Let's stop right now. This is why right he's on now, the debate team. Right now, let, let, let me just explain. Right. He's no, the no. worst striker in the world right now. No, you're not. <laughs> no, all right, jokes. But no. he's not good. He's good. Oh, he's not good. Look. He's not... You figure... Mate, no, look, no, no, no. Look, no. Joe, we Kane are, is goals. a better footballer, but better Holland striker. is the most effective player Let's in his back position. For now. Let's put him back for now while you just... He um, is the most effective position. Wait, should we just move like, him? Oh, my God. Should we he's do the most effective wait, striker second. in the world? He scores goals. He just <sighs> can't be stopped, like... No one, no one's effectively He's, stopped him. Also. No, 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 that's where you're wrong. He doesn't score goals. He, he does. scored goals. When was the last time you seen his goals? goals? He scored like two. Did weeks he score like two weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking that's at us like point. that for? The point is, yeah. everyone and Kane can't even every, score in the month look, of August. Look, <laughs> bloody Harland compilation of him beating up defenders. He right. doesn't know. He's be- he's, he's, well, he uses his ridiculous height and fat to his advantage to beat up the And do you not he's think he's convinced- dancing goals already going in? Is he a good player? No. He's convinced he me player? again. Yes. Is, he the, most- play football? is no. he the most effective <laughs> striker in the world? So, no. Yes. no way. Because he relies on the other 11 players. Right. Back play. If, if L- listen, that. let me take you back to the Champions League finals. Do you, re- do you, me? Re- do you remember you Mbappe? Me? Do you remember Mbappe, yeah? yeah? Remember when he scored three goals when the rest of the team were absolutely down and out looking like they sucked, right? Yes, two penalties. I'm going to forget that. He was the best player on the pitch by absolute <laughs> well, mile. He can carry a team. He can carry a team like that. You reckon Piggy can carry a team? Well, I don't think so. Can he? Fuck. Seriously, look <laughs> well, at the he guy. did carry Dortmund. Oh, I agree. No, I agree with Joe. I agree. He's on other players. But no, I agree. Okay, okay, do do you there's a reason he's on the debate there's team. there's a reason there's 11 players on the pitch. How come Norway didn't win the World Cup? Oh, yeah, they did qualify because he can't carry a team. Because Norway. Norway's Norway, 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 yeah, what name one good Norway yeah, yeah, but That's France. Yeah. France when they've all got a disease versus Norway. And guess who carried him? Yeah, I, Norway. Norway. My they, man, they, couldn't even, they couldn't even beat Liechtenstein. If they got Ireland, surely you can beat a people that don't even play the game. Like, <laughs> no, you can't no. because you suck, mate. You're a pig. <laughs> yeah. You're awful. If we're being honest. He's got to be... Yeah, if you want to talk about international football, right, let's, let's talk about Kane. We'll put him in God, but He's got a baby blue shirt on, a baby blue tear. Let's let's if we want to talk about the biggest... We'll game, if we want to talk about the biggest games, we're comparing him to Kane here, realistically. Put him in Kane disappears, not disappears in the big games. That there's a reason well, There's well, a reason well, Spurs don't win any trophies, and it's because Kane disappears in the big games. It's not his fault. You can't blame him for Dyer and Davis. He's so good. Let's put Harland in the team of Dyer and Davis. Hang on, you can't blame him for the Champions League final... Where Mane cheated. Yes. That is true. not his fault. <laughs> so don't true. blame him. You're just trying to go against me. Yeah, I feel joke. absolutely wrong putting him in very good because that's so unfair on Giroud. It's ridiculous. But Haaland is the most effective striker in the world. I'm, I am terrified as a fan not. to play against City and Haaland. No, he is not. I'm, I'm not terrified, terrified to play against, play against Tottenham against and Kane. How are, you, how are you terrified to play against Tottenham? When we played oh. against bloody Piggy and, and Co the other week, right? We played against City. We won one 0 Piggy got two touches the entire game. He did nothing. He, he, he spent more time at the sideline drinking water because he sucks, right? I, d- I was not scared to play against that guy. I'm scared to play against Bayern Munich and face two promoting. Yeah, just not that. I'm pretty scared. Because the Holland is like the most intimidating striker for a defender yeah. to come against. Only because he beats them up. He should be sent <laughs> off for every goal he scores. He doesn't know because if he really did that, right, have it your then... way. We'll keep, keep, but, so let's keep him next to Kane yeah, for argument's sake. Really, next he's, year. he's he's literally on the level of Mbappe. Him and Mbappe. Let's just keep it a minute. Mbappe's so. a better player, but they are being compared for a reason. But no, Mbappe's Mbappe is a lot better. No way. Yeah. No way. All right, Andre oh, Silva. Let's face it, Leipzig are going out anyway uh, on Wednesday. Uh, not next year, I, I, so, I've but. seen that he started Leipzig poorly. I haven't heard him doing any better, so I'd probably put him in there. I just don't hear anything I'm about him. Put him in poor because good. You know, I'd go like, good. I'd agree. Tom go good because I, I um, just haven't heard a lot about this lad since he's joined uh, RB Leipzig. You probably haven't heard of him and at all because you don't really follow him. Andre Silva, mate, he's Portuguese. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, he's got that <laughs> <here>, right. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he used to be like. He, he did pretty, pretty well. Yeah, like uh, but if you let me continue my point, I've not heard of him. Werner normally comes on and does a better shift in like 20, 30 minutes. 
That's why I think really? he's a fraud. He, there's a reason he starts every game. Yeah, over. yeah. I, I, th- I think he's just mad though. Like, what what he's does he mad. do? That's like amazing. Uh, I'm I, good. I, I, he's probably he's probably like I think he is on a level of my OCD wants to put him in meh, so it's three each. <laughs> so, but at the same time, I think he, he's probably about. He deserves the good kind. Of not, got... I mean, but then again, Gonzalo Ramos gets picked above him for Portugal. So. Portugal. So we going for Met? Yeah, I think I think he's Met. Like he's just me, like he's that's all I can think of when I think of him. Just right, Met. Yeah, right now he is very very Met. To be fair. Hang on, hang on, right. hang on. Let's have a little look at the Porto. trim. Yeah, it's all right. All right, now we've got uh, Medi Saremi of Porto. Porto. Uh, Ooh, quite he's quite good actually. Right. He does well for Porto. Like bangs him in the Portuguese league every year. He's had a couple good Champions League seasons for them as well. I think, yeah, he's probably on the same level as strikers we put in good, to be fair. Oh, I'm I think if he went to either of those clubs, yeah. he'd do a similar job. So I'd put him in good. Oh, I agree, good. Scored a good couple of goals, getting <laughs> 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 uh, where, where are we going? Good. 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 Just good. Yeah. Not good yet. I do, I do think of Champions uh, League I, and sometimes think. Tyremi. That's because he's got a bicycle. I do think he's. Chelsea. I do think he's very good. In all honesty, who won Champions League? If we're talking Giroud right now, Tyremi's a better player. I, I don't. I don't think, think he'd do yeah. much better than any of those three strikers in good at their clubs. Think. Though you don't think? I think he'd definitely be a better. Maybe super promoting, but the other and two. Howard, I think... He's definitely better, and he's better than Ramos. Yeah, right, right. Well, he's the best out of the good category. Yeah. Right, ladies, let's move on. All right, Latoro Martinez. Uh, very good. I say, very good striker. He's doing. Doing like, bits, yeah. But he's better than Giroud right now, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, yeah but you can't have him in there. That's why I said Giroud was too high. Actually, no, Giroud isn't too high. He's a clinical striker, more so than Martinez. Yeah, um, Martinez, he can't be a like bit wasteful, a bit that way. He, su- he suits Serie A football, down. does really well. Don't hear much from him in the UCL, but I do think he's a very good striker because he's better than the ones in good. So we're going very good for yeah. Martinez. Let's start. Ryan, you, uh, you agree with that, yeah? Uh, Martinez, yeah. I, w- I, w- I would agree that he's on the same level as Giroud. Potentially, I think he's got the uh, ability to be better. Just depends if he's going to be better. But, um, we just realised that there's a... It's a bit of a on the screen. Yeah, so but, it doesn't matter. But Haaland was there before, so... Um, um, all Next right. up then, before we get running stocks, got about a minute. I'll, I'll talk first to a Liverpool fan after the Real Madrid game. Oh. Honestly... Like, I wasn't too impressed with him in the game. I know what he's done. But, Excellent then word. again, uh, he's also, like, he's playing to his strengths. He's playing to what he can physically do with, he's like, go higher, his right? age. The fact Probably. he's getting older. And with he was being played with Mbappe in the French team, so currently Hurry he's, up, probably, we're on on his, time, he's yeah. probably on his level. So I would say that he's probably God right now, but I do think he's going to drop off in the next few years. I've heard him excellent. I'd say I'd, I'd argue with Tom on that one. I'd say excellent. He's yeah. If you're putting him next to those yeah, I two, think he's dropped I believe I was bit. urging for him. to yes. be pushed out of very Last good. Last year he was excellent. very very. They've dropped off a little bit. Uh, yeah, I agree. And I'm, I'm sure. sorry, but if you get pissy about uh, the old Ballon d'Or and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, just, I, just I, I was I was happy putting... I was trying to put him in God because I thought if I put him lower down, people would, like, accuse me of being salty because of a Champions League game and I thought everyone would disagree with me, so... I, th- yeah. I mean, I'm happy to put him in God, but at the same time, I don't mind. What, what are we going to agree on? Excellent. Uh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, our uh, next 10-minute session is about to end, so we're going to stop it there and we'll finish with the last three strikers. See you in a minute. All right, we're back. Final three strikers. Next up is Liverpool player Cody Gakpo. How do you strike him? He, he's been playing up front. I'm not sure I agree with it, but in recent weeks, he has actually done very well. This has been recorded right after the 7-0 against United. Obviously, he did have a bit of a slow start to his Liverpool career where he wasn't looking very good, quite frankly. Just an occasional good bit of play on the ball, but overall looking pretty bad. But in the last few weeks, he's got quite a few goals. I'm trying to think where you guys want me to put him, yes. and right I'm now I'm torn. I'm thinking, thinking very good. No, but... you offensive man. I'm torn between Met and good, but I think I, I'm I giving agree. the benefit of that and giving good. him good. I I agree. I'm putting him in good because yeah, I'm sorry. Though, you like... seen the likes of Olivier Giroud and Lazaro yeah. Martinez? <laughs> Do you I think, think some people? Are too... Why is no one down here? Why is no one down they're, there? They're, because they're, they're playing the Champions League for a reason, mate. Yeah, none of these are that bad. He's not. He's not. Awful, are they? I mean, Havertz, if anyone deserves to be. Yeah, but he's not a striker, so that's we've given them but, the benefit um, of the doubt. Yeah, but he misses chances and whatever. Right, okay. Oh, um, he's he's here. The he's thing, thing is, I think out of these strikers, ah, the, oh, yes, the, the, only, the only one of the other strikers I would 
take playing for Liverpool starting in the same position would be Gonzalo Ramos. Over like, Taremi. That's the only three of them that could play the same. That's, that's, that's the only they're one all of them so that mediocre. Play the same, right? I would Gakko, rather. Gakko is probably the best rather of the trio. Trio. I would rather Chupa Moting over Cody Gakpo. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think Taremi's better than Yakpo. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh, I think just about Moting marginally. Um, <laughs> it is both. I think Taremi's more, more proven. Vic, I think but, but, very good. Yeah. Oshin Man, yeah, he's been very good. I mean, his yeah. stats for Napoli this season, absolutely mental. He's close to excellent. You know what? I think he suits his haircut as well. I think, think he suits oh, it. Not sure, whatever. <laughs> we'll we'll yeah. just put him very good. We'll, we'll, uh, to be fair, I'm, I rate him a lot. Yeah, he's very good. He's a very good striker. And he's quite young as well. Uh, I think he's better than Martinez, Potential. personally. Um, uh, Napoli, Napoli, Napoli have more. run away with that. They yeah, could yeah. actually win Champions League yeah. this year. They're well, like, no, Napoli yeah. being just brilliant. Be. Let's look attention. at the final so striker on this list. Randall, yeah, Colo, Moani, and a fact about him, Wardle. he actually has the most contributions in, Bundes- in the Bundesliga this year. He's got the most goal contributions, oh, most goals, most assists. Of course he scored that he's vital... Got, um, he's got 10 plus in both of them. He scored that uh, vital goal against Morocco in the World Cup semi-final. Yeah, also, he looked, he looked pretty good when he got subbed on for France, and yeah. it's not easy it's to... It's a shame that, that he really squad. didn't start, to be fair. Uh, uh, for Frankfurt, I think he's kind of being wasted, you know. Um, he's done well for them. He's done their yeah, work. Yeah, I'll give him credit. But uh, he's, got, he's bound for yeah. something big. I mean, he uh, did have that... I career, believe... He was playing for... Wait, was that the United player time. that had the opportunity to win before the Emmy Martinez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do yeah. have to mark him down that a little bit. That was that. just a very good save, though. Like, sometimes... No, but... Yeah. But that, really would, that would have done it, wouldn't it? That would have put him, really, into very good for me, but... I'd either go mayor or good I'll because go this, this is, this is just good. ridiculous. The fact that we don't have like anyone down the bottom. Yeah, we don't need to be. Though, it? It? We have there to is be no off. rules in this tier list. No one wants a tier list when no one gets put in poor or awful. <laughs> right, okay then. I think it's... Let me just help you. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna put Gakbo in there. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, because he's just definitely, to help you. He's just definitely to help worse than Havertz, isn't he? Let's be honest. Yeah. Who scored in the Champions if League we, if final? We, if we had to go poor and awful, it would be Havertz in poor, Haaland and awful. But we're not going to do that. Let's just think leave it out. Havertz, as a striker, is Deserves. awful. Who scored in the Champions as League striker, final? As a striker, he is awful. Who scored in the Yarram Champions Trick League final? Poor. Did you score in the Champions League final? I feel like one of these has to go down. No, I think we're fine, to be honest. I'm happy with that. We're happy with that. I don't, I don't, yeah, think, I don't think, think we've been harsh enough, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, end you of, no, 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 it's happy in life. And, and, and yeah, yeah. We'll do another one soon, anyways. Um, Can you yeah, stop yeah, fondling with me, Tom? Uh, Please. Yep, that, that's this video anyway. We're going to ignore those two. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, tell oh. us your thoughts on this. Uh, oh. Definitely, people are going to be saying there's players on this tier list that should be lower. No, anyway, that's the end of this video. See you guys later.